this video, I'm going to show you how Henry ran the best defense, built the best defense in Madden 24. He really used these as specific adjustments we're going to talk about in this video. About 70% of his game against Wesley. This is the uh, exact defense, actually, that ended up getting him the interception. One of the things that's interesting about Henry in this tournament, and really Wesley as well, we didn't see as much of a backed off slot corner. Uh, we've been seeing that earlier on in the tournament, but really in the finals, they kind of went to more of a D fire two basic approach uh, to get stops consistently. And uh, it's actually what ends up getting Henry the pick six. They're uh, using this press alignment and really like see the adjustments on your screen, very similar, almost gets an interception right here. Um, but Wesley is able to complete this pass. But on this drive, this was right after Henry threw his interception and this is a, a gotta have it, like must stop drive. Here you're gonna see, here's the interception. And he ends up getting the pick six, obviously goes crazy. It's a huge play in the game. And we're gonna go over the exact specific adjustments that he ended up doing. So if you take a look here, we have a press alignment from both of these corners. Um, this is gonna be the free safety zone blitz out of the Chiefs playbook. We'll show it in practice mode here in a second. But basically you've got a third, a third, a third, a little hook curl here and then uh, we saw a send five and this was very common from Henry uh, really interesting way to, to play defense but basically this defensive end a lot of usering on him with lurk artist we're going to blitz one two three four five and then this defender here is going to end up being in either a man up on the tight end or a hard flat as it looks like here this is going to be a hard flat and then we have a third a third a third and then the shaded down hook curl now, in practice, I just want to show you exactly kind of what the adjustments were so that you can see those and also how he used this against the majority of the defenses or the offenses uh, that he was uh, facing. This was probably called about 70% of the time. So coaching adjustments here, auto flip defense play call off, auto alignment set to base. You can put this on conservative if you want to. And then zone coverage, pretty sure this was on default uh, just based off the way that he was playing. And then he might have had some unique packages. I'm not 100% sure. It's hard to tell on that. But let's get into this. This is out of the free safety uh, zone blitz in the dollar thirty-two. We have a full ebook on this defense. I've been talking about this defense for the last several months. Uh, it's the best defense in the game, and it's the defense that gives you the most amount of options to constrain the most amount of space to defend the most amount of formations. So really love this defense. Let's get into the setup. All right, so the setup here, all we're going to do is we're just going to press. We're going to pinch our defensive line. Now, in regs, this defense is not as effective because the, this defender does not have lurk artists. It doesn't mean dollars are not still the best defense in regs. But basically, the adjustments, we're going to put the safety on the left and into a hook curl, and we're going to shade underneath. Now, I'm going to explain why this is really good for Bunch Strong Nasty in just a second. Um, but we're first talking about this double post play. And then Wesley, I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100% sure what he ended up going with. Uh, it looks like his circle receiver kind of got uh, bumped at the line of scrimmage uh, because of the blitzer, which was a common thing to happen. This happens a lot in compressed sets this year. But it's basically this setup right here. Now, um, the user was not this defender here. He put this defender in a hard flat, and he was blitzing both of these slot corners off the edge to make sure we got good pressure. So his user was actually this defender, this defensive end. And the reason being is because you can use this defensive end, engage with the defensive line or offensive line, and then uh, lurk back into coverage. Now the lurk and what he was doing with his lurk is he was basically going to be almost as if he was a vertical hook defender all right and then typically probably got a shade outside and underneath which will help play the c routes a little bit better so on this he's going to lurk from here kind of snap back in here and then obviously the c route and all this is happening so fast that it's hard to be able to make a read obviously wesley's in the middle of getting instant pressure every single time uh, when running this defense. Now, another possible uh, input that he could have done, and I'm not 100% sure, this could have been an outside quarter. Um, if it's an outside quarter, it will play the C route a little better. So you see here, outside quarter, he plays the C route. It's probably more what it was, probably was an outside quarter. And uh, we probably, honestly, just knowing kind of the way the, the game plays this year, we probably outside quarter both of these guys, and the purpose for that is to take away the wheel route late to the tight end, as well as um, you know just help. It just helps them play the sidelines a little bit better. But this is basically the defense that he used for uh, that specific play that he got the interception on. But this was also the main defense that Henry was in the majority of the game, probably like I said about seventy percent of the snaps. And I wanted to show you why. So Wesley's main uh, couple plays that he wanted to go to. 
was really this bunch strong nasty in the Colts playbook. We have a full ebook on this, uh, but it was basically this play right here. This was the play that he wanted to run a lot. There's a couple others, and we'll talk about that. But this was one of the main plays. This is the double corner concept. And so, again, this exact setup, again, it's, it's basically this right here. So what would the user do on this? Well, the beauty of this is a shaded down hook curl will really take away that snap throw to the square receiver. So, And then you have the middle third, and then probably, like I said, quarter zones on these outside guys just to get them to play more to the sideline. Um, but anyways, so he would get user here. And then basically if the tight end went to the corner, he could just take that with his user and there's really nowhere else to throw the football. And you're obviously able to still send five, which is what makes this defense really good. Now this does not also, or does not just stop the, um, that the double corner play, but it stops a lot of what people like to do out of Colts. For example, another play that was very popular for Wesley was this dagger play. He ran this a lot throughout the course of the tournament. And so let's go over the adjustments in terms of how this defense plays really, really well against that as well. So here, essentially, all we have to do, we have this hook curl defender. A lot of people like this snap throw slot streak. This hook curl defender, a lot of times, will pick that off. Now, in practice mode, obviously in rags, we don't have the mid zone KO, the deep end zone KO that you would have had on that player but he's in a better position to be able to play it. It's, it's really, you can't ask for much more out of your defense than to just put your guys in position to make a potential stop. So anyway, it was basically that. And then how would Henry lurk this if it was dagger? Now, there was another defense that he ran specifically if he thought it was dagger. But basically what we would do here is we're going to try to just take the crosser because that in route's running himself into coverage with that hook curl. And obviously, the this is all happening so fast, so it's hard uh, for, for it to, you know, basically, it's really, really difficult for uh, Wesley to be able to just consistently make a read against this, against this defense. Now, right now and then, we got a defense that kind of looks something like, uh, basically something like this here, and it could have been like a little more of a maximum coverage defensive situation, but basically a kind of a cross-man style defense where we're essentially – uh, putting a lot of stress on that slot receiver with our user. But other than that, we have these cross bands. The beauty of these cross bands is you can still have that hook curl in the middle of the field. So, if, again, if this was Dagger and he actually ran this to stop Dagger, all he has to do is go take the crosser. So these are some really effective setups defensively from Henry. Wanted to break this down. Uh, this was the main defense that he used to shut down both Bunch Offset out of Colts and Bunch Strong Offset out of Colts. So thanks for watching the video. And if you want to check out my entire uh, $1.32 defensive ebook, it is in the Patreon. Uh, you can get that for just $10. Link is going to be down in the description.